this is Tasty Eats by Tess and today we're going to be making something that resembles and tastes almost as like smokehouse almonds. So let's go ahead and get started with this. We have two cups of almonds just with the shell on and in the beginning all we want to do here is coat them with oil. So it'll be about a tablespoon approximately. Just give it a nice toss like that. And you'll be putting this into a 280 degree oven. And this is only the first stage. And here's how they look. Just before they go in the oven, you can see they're nice and shiny. By all means, you can double this recipe. The almonds have been toasting on 280 for 15 minutes. And all we do now, we can just pour those right back into our bowl. And we'll be keeping the same pan. Let's go ahead and shoot them all in there. Beautiful. add some liquid smoke that would be two tablespoons let me just get this out here doesn't have to be perfect just like that give that a nice stir you can hear them crackle with that liquid smoke Try to get yourself as natural a liquid smoke as you can possibly get. Uh, the one I have, it just says natural hickory. There we go. Now what we have here is four teaspoons of uh, flour and two teaspoons of Himalayan pink salt. And we'll just mix that together. If you like more salt, you can always add more. You might want to taste that first, but you don't want your almonds to be too salty. So we just sprinkle this over nicely. Just like that. Scoot it all in. Beautiful. Give it a mix. We're going to now turn down the oven temperature to 270 and we'll be toasting these for approximately 20 minutes. Just periodically check them. Your oven may be different, a little different than mine. Um, and make sure that they're not burning and the flour is not burning. Beautiful. All right, it's been in about 20 minutes. We'll just take that out. They look nice and toasted. Just bring that on down to the corner. Scoot them in. And be careful not to burn yourself big awkward pan there we go now this mm. well for a fraction of the price I can't believe it. A whole bowl of nuts. In the store, they're extremely expensive. Um, 
The other thing I wanted to mention is, if you want this gluten-free, go ahead and try some almond flour instead of the regular flour. Mmm, they will crunch up nicely after about 15 minutes. Go ahead, give it a try. For a recipe that works, you will not be disappointed. Have a great day.